Shabbat Shalom and welcome to Two Minute Torah from me, Rabbi Tzvi Solomons of the Jewish community of Berkshire. We're based here in Reading in the UK where we offer synagogue services and also hospitality and a full range of rabbinic services for me and my wife Shira. Shabbat Parshat Chaye Sarah comes in at 14 minutes past four. It goes out tomorrow, Saturday the 7th at 17 minutes past five. Uh, we have a service here at six o'clock. Uh, you're welcome to come earlier to Daven Mincha with us and we have a meal after the service. You can book online at www.jacob.org. That's www.jcob.org. Uh, there's a web form online and you can still book. It's not too late so we'd love to see you if you're in the area. Pashat Chaye Sarah deals with the death of Sarah uh, the purchase of the cave of Machpelah, the double cave in Hebron, which is still there to this day, and also with the uh, finding of a wife for Abraham's son Yitzhak Isaac. I've dealt with the first two um, in some measure in the Jewish News. Uh, that's available also online, so have a look up Rabbi Tzvi Solomon's, that's ZVI, uh, Jewish News and you'll be able to find uh, the Torah portion for this week. Uh, that's my little column that I've written this week. But I'll talk about the other thing, the finding of a wife for Yitzchak. Now, you and I know that it's not always easy to find the right person, and so it's uh, a big responsibility. Um, you want to settle down with the right person first time, if possible, and it's also um, difficult today to find people. Um, sometimes people don't find it easy. So what we have today is we have an opportunity to find people through the internet, through apps on our smartphones or online. Can you imagine how hard it was to find an appropriate wife for Abraham's son Isaac? He sent his servant hundreds of miles north in order to find someone from amongst his kinsfolk in the city of Haran. And Eliezer, who was at one point going to inherit from Abraham, utters a prayer. And the prayer is very interesting. It's particularly relevant to us, who today use the internet to find someone. We tend to use the internet. I have to say, I was one of the early uptakers of that particular uh, approach. Shira and I were early adopters of JDate, which is still going strong today. I'm sure they have an app. But Eliezer, he goes to Haran and he utters a prayer. He goes down to the well where all the daughters of the city are going, because that was the social centre for the women of the day, fetching water for their households. If she, the one who is meant to be, she will bring me water, and my camels, I will know that that is the way that you also, God, have approved. And that is exactly what she did. She bought him water and then she said, can I give your animals something to drink? And they were, they were watered as well. Can you imagine how much work that would have taken? So he looks for generosity and kindness and are willing to work to help and be as hospitable. Those are the prime attributes that he was looking for in someone. Today when we look online we can sometimes be led astray by these, by our eyes. We can be told, well that person looks lovely, that person doesn't look so good, I'll choose the one who looks prettier. Looks do tell, we know, even when someone's getting a job. But in the case of Eliezer he was looking at personality. What's a person's heart like? And perhaps that's something that we in the modern world need to look at. I was very lucky. I managed to find myself a wonderful, loving wife whom I love very dearly. And I looked also at her personality. And that, I believe, is the essence of what it means to find someone who will be a help in your life. Shabbat Shalom.